Hawaii's most accurate weather with Kelly Sinek. Aloha, everybody. It's setting up to be a gorgeous start to the day, and the good news is what we're seeing right now is going to be sticking with us as the day continues. Blue skies, sunshine, but also some upper-level clouds out there and low-level clouds. Now, those high clouds led to gorgeous conditions last night for the sunset, and that's what's leading to such a beautiful morning today. But as you can see on the satellite here, it's mainly the big, uh, the upper-level clouds focused over the Big Island. The Big Island seeing most of those, but some of them still trailing over the rest of us. So again, upper-level clouds. So these these aren't associated with any rainfall, but they lead to really beautiful skies. As that, uh, that upper level trough to the southwest of the state continues to clear us, we're going to be seeing uh, sunny conditions. Again, those upper level clouds really not impacting our weather too much, aside from the sky cover, but a few low level clouds moving through with the northeasterly winds as well. And the northeasterly winds, that is what is going to be here for quite some time. Enjoy them while we have them, though, because the end is in sight for those trades. This high pressure system, though, that's to the northwest of the state, continuing to build into our north. And that's going to lead to locally breezy conditions. We're expecting winds consistently up to about 25 miles an hour with gusts up to 40. So they're going to be pretty strong. They're pushing us a few offshore showers. But as you can see on the radar, what we're actually seeing right now, not too much going on. Again, mainly going to be confined to the windward sections. But a few of those could spill leeward. We have a small craft advisory that's going to be in effect for all of our surrounding coastal waters, so be prepared for that. Our trades, they're here, they're strong, and we're going to see a lot of this great weather and a lot of sunshine through Thursday. But then starting Friday, as we have a low pressure system approaching us, we're going to be seeing our winds gone, variable winds, starting with us Friday, and then a lot more rainfall, unfortunately, going to be taking over just in time for the weekend. All right, that's all your weather, and I'll send it on out to Surf News Network's Betty DiPolito, who has everything you need to know about your surf today. Hey, good Good morning, Betty. Hey, Kelly, Kelly, good morning. Well, some good news. We've got those small craft advisories posted around the island chain, mostly for our north channel areas. But good news is the northwest swell is kind of on the rise. Right now it's about three, maybe four feet. Some sets coming through, but it should be four to six by the afternoon at sunset and pipe areas on the north shore. Makaha in the two to three foot range right now, and uh, that'll get a lot bigger also later on in the day. South shore lines with a small uh, Tasmanian sea swell in the one, maybe two foot range it's kind of dribbly you got to wait a while for a set but at least there's something to be had diamond head a little bit bigger one to three with a lot of trades pushing that sandy beach also pretty windy three feet and makapu'u in the one to three foot range we've got those breezy trades 15 to 25 like kelly was talking about so pretty windy out there low tide 619 at minus one tenth high tide about noon time seven tenths Sunsets uh, 6:55, rising at 6:07. Nice long days. Hey, coming up this week, Hawaii's young surfers. The best we have will be at the Hasa State Championships starting on Wednesday at Ala Moana Bowls. Wish them uh, good luck. This report brought to you by Green Tea Hawaii. You'll taste the difference. You'll feel the difference. It's not your regular green tea. See what I mean? At one of the many kiosks, including at Schofield, GreenTeaHawaii.com, for more information. All right, Chris Latronic, back to you. What's happening with the traffic?